Welcome back. All right, we've done the 3B, how much water do I drink tutorial just previously. And hopefully we play with those applets on the left skewed and the right skewed um, learning aids on basically how to find this using the central limit theory to find a mean of a larger population by taking numerous smaller samples and averaging, uh, averaging them out. <clears throat> So let's go to the questions that go along with the previous tutorial. Question one. And let's turn around a little bit. All right. Okay, so here's a question on finding the mean or the average cost. And you want to find the average cost of these four brands. Keeping a note, the prices that are being given are all based on one liter, um, say, uh, a one liter unit size. <clears throat> so to find the average price of the four brands, it should be just a simple matter of adding those four values up. Then dividing by how, how many there are. But do note, we have cents, dollars, cents, and cents. So you will have to convert them to the same units. Now, looking at the answer where they're saying dollars, it would make sense to convert to dollars. So 62 cents equals. $0.62 dollars because one dollar is 100 cents and 62 is 0.62 dollars and then we have a dollar 25 we have 91 cent which is 0.91 dollars and 73 cents is 0.73 dollars then add them up uh, 2 plus 5 is 7, um, 7, 8, 11, carry the 1, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9 is 18, 18, 7 is 25, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So all those values add up to 351. So does that make sense? Um, about 25, 73, that's almost 2, that's almost 3, yeah, 3 something. Now let's divide this by 4 to find the average price. That's 4 times 8 is 32. Um, not quite 32, so I'm going to be 7. And then the 7. So it would appear to be a mean of 0 0.88 dollars for every liter. I think that's correct. And it is. So again, because We are, we are already per liter. We just simply had to add them up and divide by how many there were. Question Q. Uh, for each brand of bottled water, find the average price per liter. Okay, so 8 liters is 739. So for A, Take 739 divided by 8 liters to get, let me use, my, use a calculator for this one. So I want you to do the math. Take 739 divided by 8 on a calculator, and what do you get? Hopefully,
you get something like this. Which we then round in their ascent. So it looks like 92 cents per liter. So let's see, three liters for 309. Again. Now that's easy that's easy map out 103 per liter uh, two for that 92. For two liters, or let's see, 0 0.96 for one liter. Let's see, two times six is 12, carry the one, two times that's 18, plus, and 19. So 0 0.96. And then to find the average cost per liter. Okay, so we so we have our three unit cost. So now we just add these three up to divide by three. Should give us our average cost. So it's add up 0.92 plus 103 plus 0.96. So that total 291. Divide that by 3. For ninety seven cents, or point nine seven dollars per liter. And that was correct. Again, we couldn't just add some, we just, we, we couldn't just add. We could just add those three up, and then divide by the sum of eight, three, and two for thirteen. We would not get the right answer. Uh, Term average cost per gallon a bottle of water. It's just like number one. Being to note, these are all per unit gallon. Per one gallon. They're all dollars, so we should be able to just add all these numbers up and divide it by how many there were, of which there were one, two, three, four, five. So why don't you add up? Go on, put me on pause and sum them up. Oops, so hopefully some of these got you summed them up. And gotten seven dollars and fifty cents. And find the average cost. Oops. 
Let's make it a 750 divided by 5 to get an average cost of a dollar fifty per gallon. Alright, <clears throat> students have been collecting data on the number of cups of water you drank daily during the first days of class. And the data from this are shown below. Alright, so we need to find the average. So again, you need to sum the values given divided by how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two weeks with uh, must be two weeks worth of, of drinking. So let's pause and add these numbers up. Okay, so that match button pause me. I'm going to presume that when you add them up, you got 117. For total cups of water consumed over 14 days, oops, for 8.357 cups per day, around the nearest tenth of a cup, so that'd be 8.4 cups per day. So let's see, what, what are they saying you should be doing how many cups? At least five, I think. Well, 80 ounces you lose, so you should be doing at least 80 ounces a day, which is about 10 cups. So a little under. Oops, didn't want that. Okay. Two parts. Read the accompanying information from an article about water and brain function. Then be part A. Okay. So here's what we need to read. Go any further. Okay, according to this article, the average person in a particular country drinks less than how many ounces of water per day? Uh, let's see, on average, drink less than 32 ounces. 24 cups. Average, average adult loses more than how many ounces per day? Okay, you got an average uh, 80 ounces. And a person who's 1% dehydrated has how much decreased brain function? Uh, when you're 1% dehydrated, decreases by about 5%. And there is no, okay. So try again. Okay, it looks like you're just going to have to do the exact same thing again. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Okay, search for an online video that illustrates sampling distribution and the central limit theory. Did you watch one of the, the video? One, did you watch one of the videos indicated below? Or did you find a different video? I think on this one, just go and, and do a Google search on central limit theory. It's probably right.
videos. Okay, well, number of central limit COTs out there. Uh, I've got some that are Khan's Academy, cartoon type. So just pick one. And doo -doo 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 -doo. and I'm going to go with for me I'm going to go with C. You may you may find a video with a guy wearing a knit cap, who knows? Or you may watch a cartoon video. And last one. Click on. This guy gives us distribution. Oops. And says n equals 100. Okay, here's 100, here's 10,000, here's 100,000. So a distribution of means with n is 100. And let's look at distribution. Um, the distribution is symmetric. But never than the parent distribution. Um, it's definitely narrower, but I don't know about being more symmetric. The distribution is symmetric, but wider than the parent one. Okay, the parent goes from 0 to 32. This goes from about 10 to 22 ish. So it's definitely so it's not wider. Because I'm the same with it. Immediately it moves out A and D. And B and D. Okay. Well, it's definitely more symmetrical than not symmetrical. So I'm going to go with A. It's definitely narrower. And it does tend to have a, symmetri does tend to have a symmetrical look to it. See? Okay, I'll buy that. I think it's in the back that if you kind of look here and here, that's probably the non symmetric one is to look at. In true in actuality, it does have it does it is showing symmetrical tendencies though. But it's definitely narrower. So let's modify this guy. All right. Let's look at the 10,000 graph. And again, each data point, each of these are averages is made up of five data values. My eraser here. All right, the distribution, the distribution is symmetrical, but wider. Uh, definitely not wider, because again, 10 to 32. This is about 9 to 22. So it's not wider, and it's not the same width. So get rid of A and B right away. Uh, it's definitely narrower. And again, to my eye, it looks symmetrical. So I'm going to go with C. Yep, that was a, that was a good that was a, a correct one. Uh, let's see. The last one. Again, 10,000 10, um, 10, times they, they checked it, taking averages of, of, of five. No, these were averages of 10, 100,000. 
Uh, again, it's symmetrical, yes. It is not the same width. It is not wider. Uh, it's depth is narrower. Looks symmetrical. SBC. Again. I think that was it. Um, interesting. I want to wait. Okay, that completes the question portion of lesson 3B. How much water do I drink? So now you should be ready to start working on lesson 3, part B uh, workbook on how much water do I drink. So uh, there'll be there's a video that, that will be going, there's a video that goes with that. And work on those, and then of course, you get 3B practice. So I shall see you next time when we go into 3C preview.